Hey everyone, so this is the team of Zindagi Swad Anusar. I am Arpit Das, I am the director, writer and editor for this film. So here we have the HODs of our film crew. The camera team, Ishan, Swastik and Kanishk. And we have the HOD of our sound team who basically was <laughs> practically yeah, solo team. on this project. <laughs> Radha. Uh, also Swastik was the co-writer on the screenplay. So yeah. So we are the students of Annapurna College of Film and Media and this was our cement project and uh, yeah that's it so moving on to the questions uh, first question how did you come up with the idea for this film what was your drive behind making this film so i was on a random trip and this idea just popped in my head and we just went on to making this film as our cement project and what was my drive behind making this film i would say just making a good project i guess what roadblocks did you face when you were starting out so a lot many roadblocks many. actually so like like we mentioned this was a college Sorry. project we we had a lot of restrictions and we had to bypass through a lot of it mm -hmm. so those were the major roadblocks we would say it's not like college did not help they helped us uh, with a lot they they were like on the front line on the production they they got us the set and everything but yeah we had to bypass through a lot of restrictions tell us about managing the human and financial resources of this film project so we did not <laughs> we we had good amount of human resources so but speaking of the financial resources it, like whoever had money on that particular point of time had to spend the money we have no records of who spent how much and anything so yeah we were pretty bad at ma managing our finances and that's a lesson that we learnt of this project tell us about the challenges you face while shooting this film i guess we covered a lot during the roadblock wala question so, yeah uh, like the locations uh, mm. because we had to sh we had to shoot uh, a lot of uh, scenes mm. in one day and mm. multiple in multiple locations yeah. also when we were shooting during like on the sets and something na uh, there was a big production shoot happening right next to the uh, like this right next to our set so yeah. the sound was pretty messed up so we had to manage but we managed it but we, we managed yeah we managed it. Yeah, i guess many of the challenge did it like uh, for in the production uh, kind of production thing we sourced a dog it was yeah. not possible at that moment yeah. to get yeah. a dog and shoot with him basically there was a lot of jugaad involved as we yeah. were allotted just 3 days for the production of this film but i think a lot of it went because we planned really intensively yeah. because we need to get a lot of the yeah. shots done by yeah. this yeah. time so like we had like more than 50 40 50 shots in one day we we and wanted we a decent we wanted a decent output so we just we had multiple alternatives for everything yeah, yeah. how different was what you originally envisioned the film being like and how it eventually turned out so yeah we planned it pretty differently <laughs> <laughs> very differently to be honest it was supposed to be a very sitcomish kind of treatment but yeah like we said there were a lot of challenges and like we have to cut on a lot of things and uh, yeah but i guess we got a pretty decent output but yeah i would say this was like 30% of what i envisioned initially but and also when i and arpit we were writing we came up with lot of ideas and some right. plots and all but because of the duration <laughs> we had yeah we had a loss. duration restriction as well yeah. which we broke pretty bad <laughs> we, we, still we, broke we, we still broke that but uh, but just still like uh, we <laughs> we have more than 2000 plus parameters <laughs> <laughs> tell us about the target audience of your film and usp of your film so there's no such thing as a target audience for this film anybody can watch this film to be honest we wrote this film for ourselves and the usp of the film is the same like i mentioned anybody can watch this and have a different meaning for themselves depending on the situation they are in depending on the stage of life they are in i guess so yeah next question what are your promotion and distribution plans for this film so we released this film on youtube and that was basically it initially but we thought we would send it to different festivals and competitions hoping that we would get the right amount of exposure and yeah we got selected in this festival and we are hoping to get some exposure out of it we are really grateful that we got selected why should the audience watch this film any message you want to give to the emerging filmmakers we are the emerging filmmakers <laughs> yeah exactly and I, i i don't think we have much to say to them we are still learning uh, why should the audience watch this film so 
for that uh, i believe we made a decent product and the audience would like it and yeah they would like the film i guess there were a lot of college restrictions but the some people from the college helped us a lot yeah especially thanks to chetan sir he is the he was the ep on this project yeah. yes Chesla sir allowed us to kind of bypass the rules a bit. Uh, so, yeah. HOD yeah. so our teachers are pretty cool. Yeah. That is what we mean. So thanks a lot for the selection. We are really grateful. Looking forward to the event. Looking forward to seeing all of you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks.